So this video is going to be about the differences between cathedral port cylinder heads and rectangle port. Uh, this intake and cylinder head is off of an LS2, which is um, cathedral port. This is the 243 casting number head, which was the best cathedral port head. They're out there with the 799 head. They're basically the same head. Um, and this is the LS3 cylinder head, which is, I think, 821 casting number. This is the LS3 intake. That's the LS2. So this is uh, one of the best rectangle port intakes. These are the best rectangle port heads. These are the best cathedral port heads. Uh, so I was going to show you the big difference and why I'm switching um, my 05 GTO from these LS2 heads to LS3. If you know much about cylinder heads, uh, first thing you'll notice is the distance from the block surface to the bottom of the intake port. Uh, I measured this earlier. This is like, like six tenths of an inch and this is like 1.3 inches. So it's, you know, twice the distance from the cylinder head surface of the block up to the bottom of the intake port, which makes, you know, a big difference in flow. You want like a direct shot. You don't want the air to have to like turn a corner to go into the motor. So. The intake port is much higher, which if you look at any kind of like NASCAR heads or drag race heads, they always raise the intake port um, to make more top end power. So that's on your intake side. That's the big difference in those. On the uh, valves, this has a two inch valve on the intake side and a 1.55 exhaust valve. Whereas this has a 2.16 intake valve and a 1.59 exhaust valve. So bigger valves, you know, bigger is always better, right? But uh, it's got bigger valves in the cylinder head. They have uh, a little bit different um, combustion chamber design. I've heard that, uh, I've heard Brian Tooley say that this hump right here is not really good. He takes a straight edge and straightens this combustion chamber out. I will probably do that on these. I did that on my last set of heads on my other car. Um, if you look here, uh, you can see how much taller the intake port goes at the top. So there's a big, there's a big difference here like that. LS3, when I measured it, it comes all the way up to here. So the, int the exhaust port is raised a little bit. The intake port's raised a lot, has bigger valves. So all that stuff uh, helps it make more top-end power. Uh, the dyno stuff I've seen on these, you know, you're probably talking about a, you know, 30 horsepower jump by doing that. I'm gonna port these heads, but uh, you're probably talking about a 30 horsepower jump on the top end uh, with putting these cylinder heads on. They do have a bigger combustion chamber than the LS2, so it will give you a, a drop in your compression ratio. Um, if you just put them on there without, you know, milling them down or running a shorter head gasket or anything. But that might help you guys that are running boost. Uh, here's the LS3 intake, which uh, on the dyno stuff I've seen, uh, makes just about as good a power as any rectangle port intake, unless you're wanting to turn it like way above 6,000 RPM. So I measured this, this opening is, is like 93 millimeters and this one's like 91. So it's a bigger opening on the LS3 intake versus the LS2. You can see on the LS2 where this, this ledge here is right in the way, where this one doesn't have that. You can also see that where the uh, inside of the runners are is, is kind of, you can see it when you look straight in, whereas these you can't, so it's a lot more open. Uh, I'm gonna port this one and cut this, uh, this vacuum port off of here that's right in the way. Um, so you can also see on this intake, when you flip them over, see the uh, height difference on the intake port where there's a gap here from where the block surface is. So these are really good intakes from what I've seen with dyno results on them. Uh, they make, LS3 intake makes really good power. The LS2 intake makes a little more than the LS1, uh, but it's not quite as good as like, the best factory cathedral port intake is the Trailblazer SS intake, but a lot of guys don't have room under the hood for them. So. There's uh, some of the major differences, if you guys are wondering, between a uh, rectangle port LS heads and a cathedral port LS head. Um, you, know, you can make all kinds of power with a cathedral port. Just depends on what you want to do with it, especially if you go aftermarket. But uh, these heads flow like just, I think it's like 315 CFM from the factory, unported. 
so they they have a ton of flow so there you go there's just some information on uh on the cathedral port versus rectangle port on the ls motor